just listen that we wouldn't need to be wishing for better days. What happened to the mama see that? When they get down, all my people's gonna see that. I wanna see the day where all my people fly. All the little kids go and dippy dippy die. I start a trilogy, misunderstood. You feeling me? We all the way from the hood. I wanna see a day when people worship the Lord. When we don't get played by the next man's laws. I start a trilogy, misunderstood. You feeling me? We all the way from the hood. Yo, yo, let's open up the ghetto. Destroy the cage. Hey, yo, let's open up the ghetto. Destroy the cage. Hey, yo, let's open up the ghetto. Destroy the cage. Because, because it's time to unite and organize the, knives, the rage. rage. Hunger among millions. Discussing business with different relations. Haitians and Sicilians. I understand how many lose. It's because they snooze. Can't feel no remorse for them dudes. This whole world is full of anger and attitudes. And this knowledge is possessed by a few. And those that appear here will keep their distance or pass out of existence. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you said, son. Hey, yo, 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 let's open up the ghetto. Destroy the cage. Hey, yo, let's open up What the happens ghetto. in the scene we're shooting today, you remember? Baby Jesus chilling in the streets of the Bronx. I mean, Palestine. <laughs> so, I, so I start looking for some friends to play with. But no one wants to be with me. Because cause I'm a stranger. And I come from another place. And the other children act tough. But then I do a miracle and they're all love. So it's today that I do the miracle. Right? Scene 35, take three. Got one too. I'm sure my house would be the next. Oh, look, I see guys like into the eviction. Doesn't say when they want to evict them. It doesn't have a deadline. There's no date. There's no, but I'm sure the next one will have a deadline on it. You watch. You know how the city is. So we have to hurry up and shoot the film as quick as we can. By any means necessary, man. By any means, everything has to go according to our plan. Otherwise, 
I don't even want to think what's going to happen to us, so let's go take care of this now. I can't believe this. Hey King, look at his mother. It's a clay bird. How smart. Yeah, but guess what? I know how to make it fly. And how can? I blow on it. So improved, kid. Well, here you go. Oh. Antigone, what is this? Eviction notice of Braulio's Casita, one of our locations where we're supposed to be shooting on Thursday. You're kidding me, right? Why should I? Are you telling me you knew about this already? You decided to shoot there anyway? Chill out. What's your problem, man? That shot not set in stone. What's my problem? This is so unprofessional. I can't believe you chose a location for this film where there's an eviction notice pending. How long you knew about this? The first casita got a notice a month ago, and we heard it through the grapevine that this eviction is pending in all the casitas of the area. It's sudden professional. We'll be shooting on schedule. Plus, by shooting here, the story gets deeper into its metaphor. Think about that. Deeper in its metaphor? Yeah, deeper in its metaphor. I know why you did this. I know exactly why. You're trying to defend all these eviction notices by shooting here, right? Right? God, that is so low! If this is your interpretation, go for it. The fact of the matter is, we'll be shooting on schedule. And if there's any change, that will be only speeding up the shooting of the scenes. This one by someone else. I'm quitting. Who's the professional one here? What you call quitting the job right in the middle of production? Ugh. Hey, Charles, what's going on? You had a beef with Antigua then? You think that making movies is a joke, don't you? Locating a movie in an evicted land. Fucking insane. You're doing all this just to save your house, and that crazy girl is supporting you in all this. Should've known I was dealing with a bunch of autonomy freaks. So that's what it's all about? Let me find out. You know what? You go. You just leave. We don't need this. Not in this movie here, man. Uh-uh. Just send me an invoice for your working days, all right, pal? Do that, all right? Send me an invoice. Go back to your commercial shoots, all right? You do that, all right? You don't know what this means to all of us. Your eyes just don't see it. Later, dude.
Wale. The first miracle of baby Jesus. Scene six, take eight. One. Son's magical, a real whiskey. He made the bird fly for real, yo. And it was a clay bird. That's the shit right there, son. That ain't true, son. Hell yeah, I saw him, kid. Ah, oh, come on now. It's a trick on this ISIS, son. He takes a fucked up bird that fell from a tree. He picks it up, throws it in the water. He covers it up with a little bit of mud. He puts it in the palm of his hand. Blows in the bird's ass. The bird shivers and flies away. Nah, son, I saw him. It was a clay bird, straight up. Show him, Jesus. Come on, Palestine. Another piece of clay. Come on, hurry. Come on. Go on with the wings. Yeah, blow now. Wait. For who? Stop there, oh. testing. Who are you? Thomas. Thomas, right on. Test over. Okay, go ahead. Oh. Oh, he really did make the birds fly. The birds fly for real, yo. Oh. Great job, Palestine. You the man, G. What a fly game we play now. Give me five, all right? All right, now y'all listen up. Each one of us builds a bird. And then Palestine, 